Hey people of the Interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I did it! Uh, I did see everything I did! The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right! Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran out after her, and she hit her with that weapon! I saw it, I did! That, that clock, um, the kind of statuey clock, the faker, I think. Well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you, T? This is ridiculous. <laughs> I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. Alright. Did see everything I did. Okay. So, you saw me then too? Of course. I remember that spiky hair anywhere. Spiky? Yeah, your hair is pretty spiky, dude. <laughs> the witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. Aw, I was a bad girl. I'm sorry. What are you, a child? Very well. Continue. Victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran to the right. Okay. Is that right as in your right? As you looked from the hotel? Um, which hand do I hold my knife in again? Don't piss this woman off! Right! It was my right hand. Right. Right? Satisfied. Satisfied, Mr. Right. Please continue. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it, I did. That, that clock, um, the kind of statuey clock, the thinker, I think. This is very vague. Where did the weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. I see. What sort of weapon was it? The, the, okay. Uh, clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm on to something now. Hold on. He's saying that about this particular one. D obviously not. Hold on. I don't think she would know it's a clock unless... I know what happened, but I'm trying to remember the order, so I think this is it? Nope. <laughs> Alright. I'll play fairly. I'm not gonna rewind or anything. I feel like it's gonna be one of these two. Uh. Objection! Oh, cool, I picked the right one. <laughs> Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Ooh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? Capcom, come on! <laughs> you just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. There's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Ugh! Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock too. And we and he was found guilty of murder. Order, order. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? <laughs> Witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. 
defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Am I? Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. This is going everywhere! But questions are all I have, Your Honor. Oh boy. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. <laughs> once is better than nuns. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Is that even a thing? <laughs> Objection sustained. You may question the witness. <sighs> that was close. If he stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So, what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? Th that? Because I heard it? Yes, I heard it. No way. No way. No freaking way. It's not that loud. The only clock that could possibly be that loud to hear would be Big Ben. So you've been to the law offices of Fanko? No! Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. <laughs> The law offices of Fay and Co, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. She could easily hear, have heard the clock. No. No. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... She couldn't have heard it. You were at the hotel. There's no way you could have heard a clock go off in the building next door. No, oh, really? You have proof she could not? Uh, yeah, I do actually. <laughs> amateurs, amateurs. Listen to me, Mr. Wright. In the courtroom, proof is everything. Without it, you have nothing. You are nothing. Then I would like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard it. Oh boy. The prosecution denies your request. And why not? What? On what grounds? This is a trivial matter with no direct bearing on the case at hand. Indeed. Objection sustained. Damn! Time to switch directions. Quick. Ready to proceed, Mr. Wright? No, Your Honor. Can't give up now. Okay, so... It couldn't have wrong. Uh, I guess that one does make a bit more sense. Your Honor, members of the court. It is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. Because it's... So either one technically would have worked. It's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly... Just take a look. Right now. Right here. Oh. See anything interesting, Your Honor? It's as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. Wright? Would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have run. Therefore, this witness is a big, fat liar. F fat? Of course that's the word you focus on. <laughs> <sighs> well, Miss May? Ah, great. It's like he saw this coming. Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow. He knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say. 
It can't ring. However, I must ask, when was the clockwork removed? Dude, I still have evidence of that, too. If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. Are you claiming that I removed the clockwork afterwards? Shame, Edgeworth. Shame. <laughs> Hold on, not far back enough. Shame! <laughs> there. <laughs> clock might have been emptied after she heard it. Doubtful, and if that's the case, then it was emptied? Then she heard it before the night of the murder and she's lying anyway. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Ball! Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? That morning. Yes, I can. Ho <laughs> ho, impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is the phone. Take a look at this. Hmm? That's a very cute cell phone. Woohoo! You have a girly phone! Wait, wait, this isn't my phone. Listen. This is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording that somehow somebody overlooks. <clears throat> Got you. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order! Order! The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Uh, the detective better remember he's up to he's up for evaluation soon. Oh boy. <laughs> I gotta say I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker? So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you? If you could. Ah, huh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time it was recorded. By the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> now is not the time to be moaning. Well, Miss H Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know the weapon was a clock? Well, well, isn't it? Uh, obvious? I saw the clock before. Um, what store was that? Oh my god. That wasn't mi bought. You can't buy that clock at a store. That clock was made. It's one of two that exist. Um, what store was that again? I, I got so many. I got, I got, I got. Oops, I forgot. Wink. Ah, oh, don't start doing that. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the witness claims she had seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to the court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. The clock itself! It's simple. This clock was never in any store. Ever. What? A friend of mine made this clock. Only two exist in the world. And 
and the one that isn't here is in police custody. I impossible! Everything is sold in stores! Ms. May, I think it's high time you were you went shopping for a better excuse. <laughs> Oh, excuse is not on sale today. Darn it! <laughs> oh, who, who, her boobs really bounce when she's angry. I'm sorry, I can't not focus on that detail. What is it, you porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it! She should die for it! Die! You know, the last person who said that was found guilty as well. <laughs> Whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 S Silly me. Did I, um, like, lose it? It's just a little. <laughs> I guess I did. Tee hee. Wink. Oh, no. Mm -mm. No. It's scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? There's only way on one way to know. Hmm. Oh dear. Does the defense have any op an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you had heard about it. However. She had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known to think it was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. I might be getting ahead of myself saying that I... Just basing off what I remember. That's all I remember, like what actually happened. The wiretap. Have a look at this. Uh, that... <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim. Miss Mia Fay's phone, were you not? <laughs> Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous! Does the defense truly claim that the wire that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Yeah! Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. What? Play the recording. That's it. Proof that the victim said on the phone. <laughs> I present the defendant's cell phone. Again! Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the dead defendant and the victim. Yeah, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. <clears throat> you were saying? <laughs> Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... 
You've already lost! Your Honor, this is ridiculous! Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer! <laughs> witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May. Shut up! Shut up! All of you! What gives you the right? You, you lawyer? That exactly. That's what gives me the right. <laughs> of course, everything that's going on here, it's like a mix of every area that has played the game. It's like, there's no one country that follows every law here. So it's not, not, not that I know of at least. It's kind of like a mix of a bunch of different countries' laws, so it's like its own area. It's no fair! All of you could get up on me like that! Oh, I'm so... I, oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? You've been the bad girl this whole time! <laughs> that did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Why the wiretap? You you did it, didn't you? Do, doesn't it lead to the same thing anyway? I actually, again, I only remember like the major main things. Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? Is this a murder trial? Isn't Tiffany tapping or irrelevant? It's illegal. <sighs> She's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, we're tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. In the long haul, it's pretty relevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone. <laughs> I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off. What the f- You- <laughs> Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first who's thought that. Of course, I can, and I will. You can't be serious. No way! Of course we're not done yet. Way, I say. Way! Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Huh. Okay, so the killing happened around 9 o'clock at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from the sweet bellboy. Damn it. Room service? Eh. Uh. Iced coffee. I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know? Like normal coffee, but co- What? If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Wow. Logical reasoning. Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. We. Oui? There go. The witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. <sighs> so where does this leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, this is separate, a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Testimony stands, she saw the defendant, Maya Fay, commit murder. No. They're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win unless this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense does the defense have anything to say? Um, well come on, think of something. 
The only option is to call the bellboy. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you're sucking quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. <sighs> However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will, re you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer. Thus, she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. What? I had better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? It'd be guilty anyway, if I didn't, so... Alright, I've got nothing to lose, except for, well, everything. <laughs> Understood. I accept your condition. <laughs> Fool! He fell right into my trap. Uh-oh. Uh, wait! Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready when, for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yep. <laughs> yes, sir. I received your summon in the middle of work, sir. I am happy to be of service. That tea seat. That tea seat. Yeah. It's a big seat made of tea. <laughs> that tea set looks rather heavy. So without further ado... The witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Okay. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel. In business for four generations. I believe I received a call after 8 p.m. 8 o'clock. Forget the p.m. I assume it's p.m. though. In the evening. Yeah, p.m. From our guest, Miss May. She asked for a nice copy to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced copy to our guest, Miss May, herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right. I'm ready. I hope. <laughs> this is it. I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll... May, may, uh, Maya will be finished. How many of you... Question for this episode. I do this scattered. It's not every episode. I should do it every episode. But question for this episode. How do you pronounce her name? Maya? As in May, and then an A. Or Maya? As in M-Y, and then A. Let me know in the comments below. Miss May's room service. Okay. Press this one. What exactly is it you do? Why, anything required of me, sir. I check in guests, I check out guests. I clean rooms, I make beds. I even deliver... I deliver room service, sir. I check Miss May in personally. Are you always so... so prim? Mr. Wright, you will refrain from asking frivolous questions. Fine! I'm gonna press you. Again. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them. And I... <clears throat> er... <clears throat> Point being, I remember her quite well, sir. Yes. What then? She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her. 
At nine o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Well, somebody's a perfectionist. Did I ever ask about this? Nine o'clock on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and, wish and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Clock the time of murder. Precisely nine, then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, nine o'clock p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh. Oh, well, boy, see? I liked my iced coffee at exactly nine o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of nine o'clock, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? That's a good question. Why would she be so precise about the time? You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, the guest, sir, favored me with a, um, an embrace, sir. A kiss? Is that French for embrace? <laughs> no. It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she's more momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It's a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Oh, for heaven's sake. Sounds pretty fishy to me. Our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. That's not good. There's nothing there. Is, is that it? Edgeworth? I'm not letting you get away that easily. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now? If you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen. Can I? Protest. Wait. Please wait. Yes? Does the defendant... Just the defendants. It's a mix of the defense and the defendants. <laughs> yes? Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This rod of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edward. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question. That is all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Check-in, room service, or bed... Why would we ask him about the bed-making? The room service we've already talked about. The check-in. Tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, alright. Very well, sir. My first thought was that she was beautiful. A beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl. So it was a disappointment, really. Wait, what? I see. Excuse me? What exactly was the disappointment? Well, I am not without charm, sir, but even I'd have little chance with her lover there. What did you say? <laughs> ah, oh, er, rather, quite. Too late. Too late, you have to say it now. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? I object! That was... objectionable! <laughs> was it? Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. 
Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you are... You didn't ask. Nice try. Edgeworth? That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite, indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. And you were. You fool! I've done it. I've won. April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. Then when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. That's kind of suspicious. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold it that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple. It was the man with Miss May. Duh! <laughs> the man who checked in with Miss May. Ugh. Your Honor, as he's been, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. But my! What a convenient little setup! But it's too late. For what? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. I'm going to assume he's not wrong. Upstart. Amateur. Th these accusations are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. <sighs> yes, your honor. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Ah! <laughs> that is all today. That is, t oh my God. That is all today for the trial of my FA. Court is adjourned. Mr. Wright. Oh, wrong person. Mr. Wright. You were amazing in there. R really? I think it might be your new. I think I might be your newest fan. Probably only fan at this point. <laughs> oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> Blushes. <laughs> and again, the other twenty was pretty cool too. Huh? The face of his. His eyes wide and trembling lips. It sent shivers up my spine. Hmm. If you say so. <laughs> so, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Unfortunately, not yet. Sorry. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? The man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! <laughs> I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I 
thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. The victim dodged an attack, then ran to the right. But she was caught and stuck. Caught and struck. Caught and stuck! I can't move! Help! Yeah, that, that, that probably happened, too. She was- she couldn't get away. She was struck, so I mean, yeah. I guess that works? Anyway, I don't know how much good this will do me at all. Now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in the detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. Well! I'm actually going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for me, just let me know in the comments below if you want to check out any footage that I've done in the past or I'm currently working on now. Uh, click the box down over there. Or if you want to check out the rest of this playlist, if you missed any of the previous episodes, just click the box across from here. Or any future episodes, depending on when you're watching this. Anyway. I'm out and I'll see. Oh, also, before I forget, uh, from before, uh, put your answers down below for the question I asked. How do you pronounce Maya's name? Maya or Maya? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!